politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. 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 On The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, three people have died in an accident that occurred on Tirinyi Road last evening at 7.30 p.m. Now, the victims were traveling in a YY bus when it overturned at Sala Village. The bus number plate UBG400C was traveling from Kampala to Mbale. Eyewitnesses said that the driver lost control before the bus overturned, killing three people on spot and others rushed to hospital. Ngatinagendukwe well, another security guard has taken his own life in the morning of today, right here in Kampala. Well, the incident happened at Lumumba Avenue, Mukwasi House, that is just after YMCA. Now, police has since retrieved the body and conveyed to Mulago Hospital for post-mortem. Well, this comes at the backdrop of several shootings in the last weeks. Because if you have a policeman who can illegally pick a gun, he shoots and then he disappears. You have a military guard who is sent away by one government official but is deployed to guard another and ends up killing him. These, these things are worrying. Then first, one of the most recent incidents of an unknown people shooting and killing a, a vlogger. There is no crisis, so to speak. These are just isolated cases of criminal elements, people who are misusing the gun. So you, you need some assurance because we are spending quite uh, big sums of money in the security sector. We spend six, five to six trillion shilling in the, in the military, a trillion shilling in the police. So someone should be able to account. We need to see reshuffles in the police. We need to see reshuffles in the military. When you look at the private subit who shot the minister, mm -hmm. it's an isolated case. You wouldn't say he represents what happens in the army. When you look at the, this police officer who shot the Indian money lender, again, this seems to be an individual who was financially stressed. Of course, there have been some other incidences like Narua. So to me and to us, these are isolated cases of criminal elements, which cases are going to be investigated, but there is no no justification for us to get scared. Because if there are people who are in charge of command and they are not doing their job, we don't want to collectively um, criticize the military, we don't want to be criticizing the whole of the police as an institution. The individual police officer and the military people who are not doing their job, we need to see them either moved or even removed from the security forces. Post-COVID, we are all having financial stresses, not only here in Uganda, but the global economy. But it's not as bad as probably what it was projected to be because inflation has been kept in abeyance and the stress is not very worrying like in some countries. Yes, I can say there is some stress following COVID pandemic but the situation is not dire that people cannot have food on their table at an individual level of course the levels levels of stress vary stress you have may be different from mine but the individuals also have different thresholds of how they manage the stress but you wouldn't say the population is generally stressed to a, to a level where there is a crisis so i would still say these are isolated cases of criminal elements who will be dealt with but they do not define the general narrative within the security forces of course for every system may not be a hundred percent perfect but the system functions i mean like a private subity whom nobody expected to shoot the person who was guarding would you say it's because of a leadership problem maybe not in every society there will be those individuals who are what we call outliers, who are out of the normal. 
uh, definitely we pick lessons, particularly the security agencies pick lessons on how to manage their personnel. For instance, they needed to put in place psychosocial and mental health programs, counseling programs. If people have those challenges, stressful challenges, they should be able to detect them early enough. A person like private subject probably had uh, some challenges because I'm told he was a reserved person who spoke less. Maybe the system should have been able to detect him.